मॉर्निंग पीपल आई होप यू हैविंग एन अमेजिंग डे दिस इज सुशांत एंड वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल द मची गाय सो एज यू कैन सी इन द बैकग्राउंड एट द बैक दिस इज द फेमस माहिम दरगाह विच इज फेमस ऑल ओवर द मुंबई एंड ऑल्सो द फूड विच वी गेट ओवर यर इट इज ऑल्सो वेरी फेमस बिफोर स्टार्टिंग अप विद द फूड आई वुड लाइक टू गिव यू अ स्मॉल टूर ऑफ द दरगाह सो लेट इज बिगिन out of the dargam will be greeted by a what you can say a sweet corner which is known as afzal sweet corner but we'll but we'll move on to the sweets later on first we'll see something to eat we'll try to eat something which is not so common like i am going to try to show you something which is not too common like the shawarma as well as the kebab pav i am planning to skip it so let's see what all i can get which is new to the community or else which you can try over here moving to our first stop it is like a mutton It is like a mutton center as well as chicken center. It is known as Usmania Biryani Nalli Nihari Center. So let us move in. Over here they have many different varieties of chicken as well as beef. But currently I am going to try just the chicken. So let us see what all we have. What is it? Nalli Nihari. Uh, so this is the beef Nalli Nihari. And then beef paya. and your it is the chicken biryani chicken korma and this is the chicken dum biryani oh mast lag raha hai ye moving on to a first day this is the khichda this is the chicken khichda usually you get in the beef as well as mutton but this is the chicken one so it, you can see it is garnished with some coriander so um, i guess this is the fried onion and oh they have chicken pieces too you can get two pieces of chicken and this is the khichda so those who don't know what khichda is it is basically a porridge with uh, wheat as well as yeah that's a wheat which is grind to a paste with the flavors of chicken and later garnished with some onions some coriander as well as some lemon so let us start i'll take a chicken piece it seems ten tender but then so let us dig in with some onions something some chicken as well as some coriander cheers it basically like we indians we love to eat dal and rice so i feel this is basically that just the dal it has been replaced with the wheat which has been like soaked into water as well as baked for hours and hours or cooked for hours and talking about the taste it is mild spicy 
the spices i am sure they sprinkled the spices over it that's the reason it's spicy otherwise you can come here and try the bland version or else try the mutton kheshra but i have eaten better than this i would recommend you can skip this and i'll try to search something more interesting than this honestly speaking i did not like the taste of the kheshra it was more of it was more of a dal khichdi or something like that with the addition of fried onions as well as the lemon but then over here we have another dish which is being prepared or the stall is been set up it is known as chicken harissa this is the dish which you should try so let us see so talking about the stall it is located right in the lane of the baba faluda you can see over here see over here this is the baba faluda and you need to come right next to the lane and here you will find the stall starting with the second dish this is the chicken harissa this is the thing which i came to mahim or this is the thing which i regularly come to mahim this is my favorite thing so you can see it has been garnished with some pudina some chicken some fried onion as well as squeeze some lemon see it's same as dal khichda or you can say the khichda just the difference is it has only the wheat so let us taste Make sure you mix it properly because the garnishing it is the main flavor. Cheers. It is the most satisfying. This this is the half portion which is like sufficient for one person because the wheat it is like considerably very heavy as well as it is very starchy so in this portion you will get the protein the starch as well as the carbohydrates. So you are fulfilled with the taste. I would recommend you come and try it over here because the freshness as well as the taste. This is something new which a uh, local community or you can say the we teenagers we don't know this. We we don't know this. So I would recommend you come and try this one out at least once. You will get to know the flavor as well as the taste rather than eating the shawarma or something like that. Come and try the chicken harissa. Talking about the taste, so I can basically tell you it is like a porridge. The wheat it has like a I could say the oats which we eat usually for breakfast it is that taste which has been included with the lemon that is the sourness as well as the spiciness as well as the freshness from the mint the when you bite the mint it it is it is like the burst of flavors or you can say the burst of freshness with the sorry, with the with the subtle with the subtleness of the wheat as well as the chicken the chicken it is like a bland taste but then the spices which are sprinkled or you can say the garnish it is the main flavor of the dish watching the making of the paratha it's like so awesome he just literally picked up a 1 kg dough of the wheat flour and then later he turned into a such a huge paratha he abhi he is like literally frying it he is literally frying it over a tawa which is like small which is smaller considered to the paratha he is frying like you can just see he is he is folding the paratha accordingly 
This is the huge paratha which you just saw and he sells it by the kilo it is like 50 rupees for pav kilo so i'll just taste the halwa first because it's a sweet dish mm. it's like the sweet filled with ghee and i am not sure what is in the top but then you know the mote chur ka laddu which we tried it is it somewhat resembles this so let us try with the paratha oh the paratha it is like a huge lachcha paratha so let us try cheers mm. this this is something different you should come try Th the people who don't like much sweet like the halwa it is sweet but adequately sweet but when you add up with the paratha itself it becomes like the it becomes toned down flavor of the sweetness but then the flavor of the paratha as well as the flavor of the halwa it is like combining two best two best things of the world in one dish so i would like to try it one more bite i just tried from the edge which was the crispy part but then let's try from the center the paratha it is kind of hard or you can say it is thick the inside it's thick and the softness from the halwa <laughs> this is the second best thing i have tried in the sweet section because my first priority it's the ras malai and second it's got to be the halwa paratha from the mahim after that scrumptious paratha it's time to have something more of a chicken dish because as i came over here i did not try anything like in the chicken or something in the non veg like kathor non veg so i'm here to try the chicken tikka right opposite to the baba faluda so here is the stall he is making the chicken tikka bhai ye wala kaun sa hai kaleji beef beef kaleji they also serve beef so better ask him ki kya bana rahe ho or what is he making coming to the chicken tikka as well as the chicken sikh kebab you can see the chicken tikka it is like so delicious and you can see the garlic marination over this garlic and ginger so let us take a dash of lime for it oh so let us add some onions infused with chutney and i would like to go with the chicken tikka you can see it is like so soft as well as moist cheers mm. everything apart the taste of the chicken the juiciness as well as you can see the chicken the marination it is like penetrated deep inside the chicken but then the taste of the marination it is like so distinctive it's not like the spicy one which the punjabi one is but then the flavor it is like amazing the garlic as well as the ginger it's on the heavier side but then i would like to dip it in the chutney itself Yes. Mm. Mm. The chutney it adds a different kind of a freshness to it. But then I would recommend don't go with the chutney. The tikka it's sufficient in itself. So going with the Sikh kebab, <laughs> you can have a look. It's like so juicy. The shine. I don't want to add anything to this. It's like more than enough. Just the way it is. So let us begin. Hmm. 
sometimes when you try out the sikh kebab it happens ki it is on the spicier side and you don't get the taste of the chicken uh, the grinded chicken it's in the coarse form he has not made it like too fine where you won't get the texture of the chicken it, it has the tiny bits of chicken which you can feel while having a bite so come here and try this one out so coming to a funny location it is the baba faluda which is like famous all over the mumbai like people specially come from like borivli as well as thane just to have the baba faluda so like i can't wait i could say i have tried most of the flavors but then according to me the the normal one the normal one, the regular faluda as well as the black currant faluda these are the two favorite faludas i actually have and there is a thing called as rabdi kulfi i'm not sure uh yeah the dry rabdi faluda it is like the best thing so that's what i'm going to try right now this is the faluda i was try- telling you about this is the rabdi faluda you can see the top it's the rabdis you can see how thick it is and then going at the bottom i'm sorry because i'm going to disturb the design going at the bottom see this is loaded with kulfi as well as at the bottom it's the faluda so basically when you are going to try the this one it is like the concentrated version of the faluda so let us begin with some part of kulfi some sevaiya and then lots of rabdi cheers oh my god the flavor of the rabdi it is like so mind it is like mind blowing i can literally taste the condensed milk as well as the flavor from the rose this is a rose flavored faluda so the rose it's like very mellow but it is present so like the main dominant flavor it's the rabdi as well as the malai so if you are some looking for something authentic yet something tasty so this is the place like i i don't need to give any explanation for the baba faluda but then you can come here and try this one so i'll finish this off and i'll meet you in my next video so until then keep eating keep enjoying peace